Hi everyone, welcome to Solar Integrations. Um, today I'm going to be doing a solar man integration into a home assistant, showing you guys how to set it up. It's very simple, it shouldn't take long at all. And you're then going to be able to pull all your data from your solar man dongle into a home assistant. So you'll be able to see what your inverter is doing um, on a on a live basis, which is uh, which is going to be great because you can then use that data for automation in your home assistant. Um, we're going to be using a integration from Stefan Huber, whose uh, GitHub page I will link onto here, um, and it's a great resource for if you've got any questions. Um, and he's got a Discord channel which he's very active on, and it is quite an active project, so it will stay up to date. Um, he, it supports the day inverters, which come with the Solarman uh, dongles, as well as some of the old Samsung converters. And um, there are Solus inverters which are using it, as well as um, SoFar inverters. And he's got a few other uh, plugins for it as well. Um, the requirements you have are you need to know the IP address of your Wi-Fi dongle on your network. What I do suggest that you guys do um, is you fix that IP address on your router so that the Wi-Fi dongle doesn't move around, doesn't change IP address, because if it does, the integration will stop working. So um, you want to find it. Um, you'll get a username and password when you first go to the IP address. It's admin admin username and password, and then you'll get a screen like this over here. And the information which we want is this device serial number over here. Um, we're going to be using that, as well as the IP address. Um, the other requirement is that you have um, Hacks installed. Hacks is the Home Assistant Community Store. It's not installed as standard. Um, and I will uh, link a video on how to install that into your home assistant so you can get that done before you start. Um, otherwise, it's very, very simple. Um, we go to integrations and we search for Solar, uh, sorry, we go down here to explore repositories. We search for Solarman, Solarman integration, and we click on that one over there. Solarman component for home assistant. Um, there it is, Stefan Joubert. Um, we go download. And we want to download that. Um, that will then install, and because it's done through hacks, everything goes into the right directories. It's very easy to set up. Um, okay, that's now installed. If we go back here, we'll say it's pending a restart. So we're just going to restart our system. There. Okay, we're just waiting for that to restart. Okay, that's done. We can now go into integrations. Um, we go add integration. We want to add Solarman over there. We add that. Um, this is the name that all your sensors are going to um, have. So it'll be sensor.solarman and then the name. You can change it to whatever you want. The host IP address, that is um, this IP address of your Wi-Fi uh, dongle that you've got. So you're going to copy that, paste that in over there. Um, it's not HTTP, it's the address. No HTTP in it. We go back to the Wi-Fi dongle and we're going to copy this number over here. Okay, this is the device number, not the inverter serial number. Remember, it's the device number. We're going to put that in over there. This port Default is 8899, and the inverter ID is default to 1, okay? You have um, the YAML file to use. Um, you've got a whole variety of options here, depending on which inverter um, you have. Um, the SunSync and the Daewi hybrid 5, 8, and 16 kilowatt inverters generally use this one over here. Um, but uh, if you have any, uh, if you're not sure about that, you can always go to the GitHub page and have a look over there. We click Submit and Finish, and we will see it comes up with uh, 55 entities over there. If I go in there, those are all the sensors that it's now pulling data from the, uh, from the inverter on. 
if I go into development tools and I type in Solarman, I should see this update once it is spoken. I may have to reset this, I'm not sure. Restart it. Okay, now there it's pulling the information over. So there's my AC temperature, battery current, battery power. Um, so the, all those sensors are now live and pulling live data. If I now go into my overview, there I will see all of that information now appearing in my overview. So that's very cool because I can use all of this information for customizing things. What, what I can also do is if I go into my energy map, okay, I can add on my energy map, I can add um, these on as well. So it'll pull that information into the energy map. Um, if you, okay, so on the energy dashboard, I'm going to be adding um, grid, uh, add consumption will be, um, solar man, and that will be total energy, total energy board, okay, and um, save that as uh, grid consumption. Um, Return to grid will be total energy sold. We'll do that one over there. Save that. Um, I also have um, okay. Next, solar panel solar production is um, total production. Solar main total production. Okay. And next. Um, battery is a battery system. Uh, going into battery is total battery charge, and that is total battery discharge. Okay, save. Next, I don't have any gas, I don't have any water, and then show me my energy dashboard. And that will now update with data from my inverter. Um, I will be doing some more videos with uh, more information, better desktops, uh, um, better dashboards, other dashboard options and that type of thing. So please uh, like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date with my next integrations. Thank you very much.